Hi, my name is Rosie Gill and I'm the Director of Education at Milk Street and this is Milk Street at Home. I love fried food. I love vegetables. Most people find that contradictory, but really it's not. Like most cooks, I love delicious ingredients, vegetables, and I love techniques that give my food better texture and even more flavor, frying. But it's kind of no secret that on Tuesday night, frying's not the most convenient thing to do, nor something I really want to do because it's so hot and messy. And that's why I love oven frying, which is more a roasting frying hybrid. It's not messy. It's really easy. Things come out crispy and crunchy and delicious. And because you still use a dredge, which I'll show you, it's highly adaptable. So on Tuesday night, when you haven't planned ahead, like I have not, you can adjust the seasoning so that it will match whatever you're pulling out of your fridge and pantry to make dinner when you're sort of flying by the seat of your pants. Let me show you how to make it. It's very simple. First, preheat your oven to 475 degrees. When I remember, I throw my rimmed baking sheet in as I preheat the oven. That way the cauliflower sort of starts cooking immediately and you get some nice browning. If you forget, you forget. You don't need to oil your baking sheet. Step two, you make your dredge. For about a one and a half to two pound head of cauliflower, which is a medium head of cauliflower, you're going to use a quarter cup of cornstarch and then a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons total of spices, ground spices that you like. I'm using coriander, cumin, and ground fennel and fresh cracked black pepper. About even quantities of all of them so they add to one and a half to two tablespoons total. You also want to add one teaspoon of salt. Step three, now your cauliflower. So again, it's a one and a half to two pound head of cauliflower, and you want to cut this into small pieces, which is really important. You also want them to have flat edges, also really important. So you don't need to worry about getting little perfect mini cauliflower trees. You can just sort of slice through and get the flat surfaces, but an inch is pretty small. Keep that in mind. This is going to help the cauliflower crisp up really quickly. The oil and the cornstarch dredge will get all over the more exposed surface area. And also the cauliflower is gonna cook more quickly, which is always awesome on a weeknight. Step four, now the oil. A lot less than frying, a lot more than roasting. We use a quarter cup, a generous quarter cup, for this size cauliflower, if you have a big head of cauliflower, which sometimes you get, you may wanna use half a cup. But I'm using a quarter cup of oil. And you want to really massage it into the cauliflower. You need to be gentle, but you really wanna get it everywhere so that the dredge will stick to it. Next, you sprinkle the cauliflower with your spiced cornstarch, the dredge, and gently toss it around so that it's evenly coated. You put that in an even layer on your maybe preheated rimmed baking sheet. Again, not oil. There's plenty of oil in the cauliflower. Now you roast it for 30 minutes and halfway through at 15 minutes, turn over the pieces of cauliflower. You want to see if you can get the flat edges against the baking sheet so that they brown. That flat surface means more contact with the hot surface of the pan so that full flat surface will get browning versus sort of the cauliflower head will create a lot of unequal browning. Then you can garnish with scallions, you can serve it with a yogurt sauce, you can serve it with any sort of barbecue sauce. It really depends on what spices you put in there, but it can be as simple as sliced scallions and some lemon, and it's a great side dish. This is not roasted cauliflower. This is crispier, crunchier cauliflower. It's much closer to fried cauliflower. And please feel free to use it with any sturdy vegetables, broccoli, parsnips, carrots. They'd all be great. You can use exactly the same technique um, without making any adjustments and you'll get crispy, kind of fried vegetables for dinner.